What I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut out the outline around here, which seems easy, but if you have a look, you'll see that the wood leaves the table under here. So if I was to cut out here, it would bang down. So I'm going to cut in the outline from here around to here, where the wood is solid on the table. And then I'm going to show you a trick of how to cut the outline from above, even though you can't see the line. So I'm putting on my ear defenders and turning on the dust extractor. So that's cut out. I'm now going to cut this out. So I'm approaching the line very carefully. What I did there was where the, the top of the wood is flat and solid on the table, I could cut all the way around where it comes forward, where there's danger that the blade, which is, you know, traveling at a couple hundred miles an hour that away, would pull this down. I then turned it over and I cut and approached and I approached and I approached the line where it's nice and safe because the whole range is flat on the table. I then cut it out until uh, it's actually a lot easier than it looks. You begin to approach the line. Of course, now we've removed the profile, so I'm going to put it back on and we're going to redraw it. So if I bend the profile around, you can see that it gets too short. So what I got to do is look down and project the profile onto, onto the wood by looking down on it. You'll notice that uh, inside the wood was a bit of a flaw. I can fill that with car body filler because sometimes working with natural tree, uh, you know, there's a branch in the tree, the tree grows over it, and it's not until you cut into it you, that you find it's there. But that's not a problem at all. Okay, so I'm now going to, I've marked on the profile, I'll go over it with a, I wouldn't normally, but with a sharpie, just so you can see what we're going to be cutting out. And you see where I projected it down, it takes that shape. So, got the outline, now I'm going to do the profile.
So what I have here is a kind of Picasso cubist last. All the corners are in. So you see, just because I've got a really well accurate outline and a very accurate profile, all the corners are still on and it doesn't in any way resemble the final last. So this is the bit where uh, I'm going to do some very careful carving on the bandsaw uh, to a point where I'm re removing a lot of the surplus wood and then I can go on to uh, some of our uh, much more modern um, uh, sanding machines to remove the rest. Um, when I was apprenticed, we didn't have those sanding machines, and so we would work on the bandsaw, which was a much bigger, more ancient machine than this, and then we would work with a, a rasp and things like that to fine-tune it. But now we have the luxury of our uh, more coarse sanders, which remove a lot of wood very fast. <laughs>